Hey YouTubers, welcome to uh, Old Beater Cars Workshop. Well, I finally got the uh, 55 Ford F700 uh, stove plow truck done. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's been a lot, a lot of work to do this truck here, and oh man, it's just uh, been a lot of grief. <laughs> so, anyways, um, anyways, uh, I think this project's pretty much done. Uh, it's it's just been a lot of work to do it, and uh, being I went from a, uh, one little picture, which I don't have anymore because, uh, long story short, I had to reinstall uh, Windows on my computer. <laughs> so, anyways, oh, that goes. So, anyways, yeah, I um, made uh, I do a lot of work on this truck. Uh, I mean, it's just um, I just have to move things around here to show you guys. The blade does come off the front. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Get the camera over here. So, yeah, got the blade all uh, weathered. See the metal scrape there, probably from over years and years of plowing snow. And I, th I think the bottom blade took in a bit of abuse over the years. So, it, the blade does go up and down on the uh, jig here, on the frame, and it's on the with the chain. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. So, anyways, I really enjoyed doing this build. It was very interesting. So, like I said, the blade does come off, and it just came off the thing here. The blade does move. <clears throat> anyways. Yeah, it's all plummeted, um, plumbed, and I had to do a bunch of research to find all the proper, uh, how, like all the proper um, uh, mountings on this thing. I mean, I think they were they were used, but probably probably not very common. Probably well used, more likely. So yeah, so it's all um, it's all attached here. Bring the camera a little bit. It's plumb, like I said, there's a one cylinder in there, and basically it rotates this blade, rotates back and forth, and the cylinder lifts the uh, blade up here. So they must have broke a lot of frames on these trucks when back when. So I got my ceiling lights on the fender. There's um, the flathead, flathead motor on there. Pop the hood off. There we go. Yeah, so anyways, pretty basic, nothing nothing any different. Oh, I did actually add a master cylinder in there. Because it was something like this, you would need extra stopping power. And uh, in the big trucks, they had actually had master cylinders on the firewall. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Added uh, ceiling lights on there, the fenders. Uh, I got my big, my big tires, my big tires I like to use with chains. They're well weathered. This here, actually, I should say, it has a front front pump on there for a hydraulic pump on the front, and it has a hydraulic pump in the center for the uh, ram for the uh, box, and also has one on the back too for the back spreader. So yeah, now the interior I have a little ball on the steering wheel there. I got my favorite mirrors on there too. Big truck mirrors. Um, so yeah. The rear um, spitter here is all um, plumbed in too. Rear auger. So yeah. So anyways, there's the auger. So <clears throat> these would have been operated with uh, hydraulics as well or uh, gear but I think they're most were hydraulic operated more likely hydraulic motor or bit motor probably more likely so anyways yeah box is weathered real good uh, from all those years of salt and uh, sand and rain and you know on bare metal it kind of makes everything look rusty 
So yeah, it's um, it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with it. And there's another truck to add to my collection of trucks. And this is going to be posted all, as well on uh, my Facebook page on uh, um, light duty classic trucks or light duty commercial trucks. You guys know where it is. You guys know where to find me on Facebook. So, already. Yep. Uh, thanks uh, to uh, Tim Housey for putting uh, this uh, four truck month build on. And uh, yeah. Hopefully, we do another one soon. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.